I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the concept of rounding numbers to tens. Whenever you round numbers to tens, what do you get? You get tens, right? So you could get numbers like 10, you could get 20, you could get 240. These are all tens, do you see? You could get 1560, you may even get 1700, right? So these are all the numbers which you could get when you round to tens. Important thing here is that always there will be zero in one's position. So what you notice here is a zero in one's place. That is rounding to tens. Important thing to note, correct? Now let us see how to round numbers to tens. So we'll take up some examples. So let me write down few numbers and then we'll round them to tens. Let's begin with small numbers like uh, like 9. Then we'll have, let's say, 25, 39, 125, let's say, 753. Okay, so these are a few numbers which we have taken. Now, to round to nearest tens, we should always check the number in one's place. So what do we do here? We check number in one's place. So one's place is in this case 9 itself, 5, 9, 5 and 3. So check number in one's place. When you check the number could be 5 or more or less than 5. So there are two cases. We could have 5 or more or less than 5. Now if it is 5 or more then round higher then you have to write higher number. If less than 5 write down the lower number. So that is how you will do. So in this case it is higher right. This is 1's place. 10's place is 0 remember that. So since this is higher, we have to round this higher, correct? 5 or more, round it higher. So in 10's place rounding, what will you get in this case? You will get 10. So the result is 10. In 25 again, what you notice is 5 or more. Since it is 5, it will be rounded higher. So we get 30. 9, now you know, is 5 or more. So we'll increase this 3 by 1. So that rounds to 40. Again, we have taken example with 5. 5 or more, increase it by 1. We get 3 here. So the number is 130. In this position, 1's place is 3, which is less than 5. So we'll round it to the lower 10s. In this case, the lower number will be 750, right? Not 60. Do you get the idea, right? So that is how we will be rounding to nearest tens. Let me take few more examples here, okay? Now this time you can pause the video and then answer. So the numbers for you are, let us say, 3, 27, 158, 261, and 3520. Now we need to round to nearest tens. We will check one's place. One's place here is less than 5 and this number is 0. So it goes lower and therefore what do we get? Rounding to tens will lead us to just 0. 3 is closer to 0 than 10. So it rounds to 0. This is very important. 7 is 5 or more, so it rounds higher. Instead of 27, we will write 30. 158, should I round it to 150 or 160? 160, of course, since this number is 5 or more. 261, 261 could be rounded to 260 or 270. It is closer to 260, we'll round it to 260, and you see, 1's place is less than 5, so it rounds lower. 
How about 3520? One's place is less than 5, so we'll leave it as such, so we get 3520, exactly the same number. So you know, sometimes, even after rounding, you get exactly the same number, right? So now, we have some test questions for you. These are the numbers which you need to round to the nearest tens. So the numbers for you are 5, 38, 123, 240, and 3561. Round these numbers to nearest tens and check my answer. My answers for these numbers are for 5, you should get 10, 38, 40, 123, 120, 240 remain same, and 3561 will be 3560. In all these numbers after rounding, we have a zero in one's place. Some numbers increase, some decrease. Numbers will increase after rounding if you have five or more in one's place, right? One's place. But the numbers will decrease if you have less than five in one's place, like here, three, three, one, or zero. Well, if there is zero, the number will not increase or decrease. It remains the same. So that is the gist of it. I hope with this, you have learned the concept of rounding numbers to tens. Thank you and all the best.